The Power of Print Seminar really was a tour de force, attended by hundreds of visitors that included the commercial print sector, marketers, designers, manufacturers, suppliers, all with an eye on what's going on in the world of print and promoting its voice and power in a multi-channel marketing industry. Martha Neusis from Two Sides and Print Power was a key force behind the event and he explained its remit and his hope for the event in years to come. These speakers today uh, were telling us things that we need to hear to give us that confidence to go out to sell print and understand what it is that the clients are looking for. You know, they're not looking for the glossiest bit of print or the smelliest or the lovely crackly bit of print. They're looking for print that does things. And it's how it engages with our senses that I think is that unique position for print. So yeah, I come back to it. Printers need to find the time as well as all the people in the graphic media chain. Come here, listen, perhaps learn, and uh, I think they'd find it time well invested in. Charles Gerald from the British Printing Industries Federation was another key voice at the event, extolling the virtues of print and how commercial printers can make more of what they do, diversify and ensure their long-term prosperity and future. We are in a, a world, a media world, which, which has changed very drastically indeed. And what that means, are that firstly, a lot of legacy businesses have real challenges to their business models and they need to understand the media environment and technology environment as well as possible to see what opportunities that's going to present. Um, and the second area is that this is a great forum for sharing ideas about all those developments based within print and within the marketing universe. Richard Hale from Google was one of the headline speakers at the event. He explained, surprisingly, that print has a vital part to play in the marketing communications mix, citing a number of interesting and creative examples about its use and how big brands are returning to the medium. I think the fundamental shift we're seeing in print is it's not good enough just to be vanilla anymore. Uh, these huge pu print publications with huge reach, when you put an ad in there, if it's vanilla, it talks to no one. And again, the rise of independent publishers, we're seeing far more niche, so then those ads in those spaces can be far more relevant to your consumer. So I think that's just it. It's, um, you know, if you take an example like the Metro that is read in the morning, be relevant to the morning or be relevant to when they're going home. I just think it's about finding human insight that can then play a part in, in the advertising and marketing messages that are being put out in these publications. So re relevance is the ultimate key to, to everything we do. Print has just got to catch up. There's no excuses. Yes, margins are being dropped. Margins are being slashed everywhere, but it's relevance is the key. And I think that's what's got to be key in, in publishing is, is relevant messages at the relevant time uh, to the relevant customer. One of the key strengths of the Power of Print seminar was its range and depth of speakers, all making impactful and interesting statements about the part that print has to play in the future of the UK industry. It's all very well doing homework online, but she said it's too easy to forget. She said, but if I print it out and put it in a folder on my shelf, I know where it is and I can remember that piece of information. So interesting, isn't it? It doesn't just apply to the hard generation, younger generation too. For magazines, and again, you know, this isn't entirely about the print channel, but you know, a large part of it is, you know, we kind of established once again that when it comes to relevance, and it comes to people's open-mindedness to the messaging and how welcomed the advertising is. You know, there, there really isn't um, a channel that does it better. Their overall online estate was growing by 19% year on year. That was their kind of rate of growth in their online. But specifically in these areas where they received a catalog, they saw 60% plus sales growth. Nothing else different, only attributable to the online, on the offline um, catalog. And incidentally, that volume increase of sales more than paid for the uh, activity. And very interesting, it demonstrated that students' ability to recall is highest if they've been reading material in print. And the key thing, according to the study, is they don't have to scroll down. They don't have to lift their finger up the screen and scroll down. The actual scrolling itself, the study found, is distracting because it reckons the eye is always looking for where, where's that, uh, there, there. Always looking for the new starting point. One of the key challenges that faces initiatives such as the Power of Print seminar is getting people out of their businesses for the day to attend. 
But having witnessed all of the content today and the key speakers, it certainly was worth a day out of anybody's business to come and learn what the future holds for the print industry and how you can be part of it. Brennan Perring, Print 7 News. <laughs>